Bonjour et bienvenue sur le site champagnejane.com. G'day and welcome to another edition of Champagne Jane TV. England is famous for its weather or sometimes its lack of weather. So in honour of English Wine Week, I thought it'd be a great idea to chat with Charlie Holland, multi awarding sparkling winemaker, used to be at Ridgeview in Sussex. Now he's at Gusbourne in Kent. It'd be a great person to talk about weather conditions, <laughs> soil conditions, and everything else that relates to English sparkling wine, which is not champagne. So Charlie, show Absolutely. Us. Well, we have a map of England here. Uh, I think it sort of demonstrates it's all the different soils you have um, in England. And, and obviously one of the big big things people talk about in England is, is this chalk and the chalk you get across the South Downs and the North Downs. Which uh, comes across from France, doesn't Which it? comes across as, you know, Paris the same, exactly same, same, uh, same chalk as the, you find in Champagne. I mean, that's not the, um, it's not all part of the story. I think, you know, in England, in a cool climate like this, uh, chalk is good for some things, but also, you know, where we are based over here in, in the far east of, of Kent, yeah. uh, you know, we have some uh, much heavier soils, some sort of clay and some chalk, um, some clay and some sand, but, um, but equally just really good sites that work really well. And what's for the benefit regions. of having the, the clay? Because obviously everybody knows that, well, people, people that love wine know that chalk allows you to free drainage, so it's good for, for kind of maintaining the water table. What's great about, about the Well, clay? I mean, I think, I mean, the first of this site here, the, the big thing to think about is, is actually the weather that comes across, because yeah. the further east, all this bad weather that comes off the Atlantic hits the west coast here. Yes, and, that's um, where I come from. That's, so and you can see the colour, you know, the colour difference. Yeah, else. And yeah. then on the east here, we get much better weather, much more sunshine, and Kent really is one of the sort of you know the driest and hottest places. Um, but what you have here, where our sites, you know, it, it, other than the the chalk, which is often quite high up, yeah. so you get much generally a, a, a more acidity from the chalk, and be harder to ripen the grapes because exactly. it would be colder and more exposed. In a cl climate like England, actually ripening the grapes is obviously hugely important. Yeah. So um, these sites here, you know, are much lower; they're sort of about forty meters above sea level. Um, and the, the interesting thing about clay versus the chalk is the chalk often starts off the year much uh, much quicker because it's free draining and yeah. the soil heats up a lot easier uh, and so they'll, they'll, they'll get started more than the clay but what you'll find is halfway through the season the uh, the clay really catches up and then it really accelerates through the back end of the holds season the heat better as well. holds the heat and so it can it can, it can really drive it through to the end of the season but if we wanted to say like literally a couple of words for people who are interested in english sparkling wine and aren't quite sure you know like within the regions of champagne what they should go for what would be the key difference between say kent sussex and, and hampshire would you, if you had to kind of I mean, if you're talking about sort of I mean, the problem with all these different, uh, different, there's uh, a lot of them are geographical, but um, but really, I think when you're getting into over, in, especially in Sussex and Hampshire, on that chalk, yeah. you're going to have wines that really have that sort of uh, drive and energy and the vivaciousness from yeah. the from kind of racy. raciness from the chalk. If you get onto the clay, generally the wines tend to be more fuller bodied, more rounded, and, and perhaps a bit more fruit character too. And yet, I would say, and we're, we're going to go and taste some wines in a minute now, but um, from memory, your wines are racy yet full of poise as well. They are, and the really interesting thing is, you know, if you taste our wines, hopefully up in a minute, yeah. the, the, Blanc, the Blanc in particular, people always say, oh, well, you can taste the minerality and you can taste yeah. the chalk. I and say, there ain't no chalk. There's no chalk in that. Okay, wine. you hear it here first, there ain't no chalk. <laughs> so, so it's interesting, what, what's making it do that? And again, it comes from this one side where we have over here called Boot Hill, which really demonstrates this saltiness, mineral, saline quality. Saline, yes, and it's one yes. site we have that year on, year out, yeah, it demonstrates that character. I noticed that actually with her sheets with uh, Victoria Ash, who's one of your colleagues. I yeah, know, I've worked uh, with Vicky for a long time. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Well, I'm happy for that. I look forward to tasting the wines. Yeah. Happy Pleasure. English wine week, guys. Here you go.